Hi, my name is Evangeline Garay, and I'm the 3rd through 5th grade ELA teacher at Dolores Mission School. One of our online platforms is Achieve 3000, and our students were used to using this during our school year before we went to distant learning. And here, our students can access their articles uh, every day. They have assigned articles. They can also search for articles they're interested in. Um, so let me give you an example of what our day looks like. So they start in the morning on Actively Learn. So Actively Learn is this platform. And every day I upload an agenda for them. So I will show you, for example, what third grade ELA looks like. They have Tuesday, April 28th. They click on it and they view their agenda every day and here i'm able to see all the data so it's very early this morning so no one really has completed their work yet but here's all the data so i can see notes vocabulary did anyone translate um, did they answer their questions so the next thing is i create a video for them and it will either be a screen recording where i show them the lesson so this one is a screen recording and I give them their directions for the day. So um, this is just an example. I'm showing them <laughs> I'm showing them what they're going to be doing for the day. And then I pause the video and I ask them a question to make sure they know what's happening. So for example, this one, I gave them a before reading poll and we had to discuss whether or not birthday parties have to be fancy since this article is about a quinceanera. So in class, we would normally do this together. In front of the class, I would ask them the before reading poll. We would talk about it. We would give examples about maybe like sibling quinceaneras they've had. Um, I'd offer my experience. So we read the question together. Some people have fancy birthday parties, but others choose to keep it simple. What do you think? As long as it's fun, it doesn't matter if a party is fancy or not. Agree or disagree. Explain why you voted this way. And then, as you can see, um, students just answer in one or two sentences since it's before reading. And then I have them move on. Um, another thing I do is, we, of course, we have Zoom class. So um, I post the Zoom link and I will tell them what time it is. Um, we have expectations that they have to review of appropriate appropriate dress you know um, so then they'll click on the link and we have a zoom meeting so we have our third grade zoom meeting is every Wednesday we come together as a class um, and then we also have morning prayers that I post so they just I have a YouTube channel um, and then they just we say prayer together as a class we do the examine um, and then I have them give me feedback on my videos and most of them just say like, oh, it's weird that you're like a YouTube, YouTube star now, um, which I'm not a star, but I'm getting pretty used to YouTube. Um, the next thing we do is Seesaw. It's another platform. And here is where I have my students journal and um, record videos. And we do all our religion lessons here on Seesaw. So it's been very, 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 very helpful. Um, I can upload links to videos for them to watch as a family. I can create templates. Um, I love, love, love this platform. And I can provide immediate feedback. We can also email each other without actually using um, email addresses. So it's really great. Um, and that's pretty much my day. I use three platforms, Seesaw for Religion, actively learn for articles that are mostly fiction um, and like I said to communicate what we are doing for the day any celebrations and then we use Achieve 3000 for data uh, to, to make sure we know where our students are at in Lexile level for informational text. Thank you for taking a look at what our day is like 
in distant learning and as you can see it's very different I am working from home um, I have a nine-month-old baby so um, right now you can't hear her but she's playing and yelling in the background um, so it's been very different but I'm blessed to be able to work at home and uh, continue to have contact with my students so again thank you so much for your support during this time and God bless you Emma's going to be doing um, PE with Coach T. So let's get started. So Emma, what you're gonna do, you're gonna do what she does, okay? Perfect. Reaching for the sky and jumping with both feet. Perfect. Next, we have fire feet. We wanna activate those legs and get them warmed up. Now we're doing side to side hops, side to side. just like the regular hops, but we're going from side to side. Now we're doing slides. Make sure your legs are wide and your feet aren't touching. Now we're going into the squats. Make sure your feet are shoulder width apart and you're bending down at a 90 degree angle. Now we're going into the squat hold. This is gonna burn. Now go ahead and switch to your left foot. and I'm an 8th grader. I am very grateful for all you do for DMS. We, the students, benefit from all your help and contributions. We cannot thank you enough. Thank you for being a part of my journey here at DMS and helping me build a strong academic foundation. Hi, donors. My name is Shaden, and I'm a TK student. I hope you and your kind hearts are doing well. Thank you for your donations and support. Thank you. You're awesome. God bless you. See you soon. Hi, donors. Your belief in me makes me feel happy because you're giving me the opportunity to learn at a great school that I love. Bye, donors.